My name is Dimitri Maxim. I'm a sophomore at Gould Academy, class of 2016, and I am doing a science fair project that involves making a diagnostic device. So my mom is a kidney transplant recipient, and she received a transplant about nine years ago. And a complication that arises with a transplant is that since it's a foreign organ, your body always is trying to reject it or get rid of it. I wouldn't be able to do anything without my mom, so I needed her and I wanted to help her. And so patients like my mother can have a way to diagnose transplant rejection in its early stages when chances of survival are 100% or very, very high. And so I took uh, first prize at the Maine State Science Fair, and now I'm on to Intel in Los Angeles in May. So here is my diagnostic machine. Basically these uh, micro wells are where you insert your blood sample into, and once your blood sample is in these wells, you insert it into the machine, and essentially there's a reaction between your blood and another reagent, and there's a reaction that produces a quantifiable color. And so the more color, the more protein, and thus your higher risk of cancer or transplant rejection. If we didn't have the uh, CNC machines and the 3D printers that we have here, the project wouldn't have been possible because they allowed us to have these rapid prototyping that we could just spin out parts round the clock and if we didn't like it we could just change it and print it again. So Dimitri's project is, is completely remarkable. He came in as a freshman with this idea that he was going to develop this device technique as a way of solving a significant human health problem. And I mean it was a, an incredibly ambitious project considering he came in knowing virtually no chemistry and virtually no biology and he just decided he was going to do this thing. So he would sit down with me at night and I would teach him organic chemistry and biochemistry and then he went and developed this device um, to, to actually solve this problem. It's like way off the charts. Uh, he's probably the most remarkable science student I've seen in 25 years of teaching. I've never seen anything like it. Well, I just got back from the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Los Angeles and I had a great time. It was an amazing experience. I got to talk with science, young scientists from all over the world and I learned a lot about how I can, what I can do in the future to continue to improve my research. Summing up what I learned through this entire journey is just, it can't be described in words, but really I learned a lot about the science, the background science, thanks to Mr. Southam, my biology teacher. Um, and Mr. Ayat, who taught me a lot about uh, electronics and robotics that I needed to make my machine function. And this science fair actually, even though I didn't win, it served as motivation for next year. And going forward, I actually have already been accepted as a position at Harvard Medical School to work on a project to continue my organ transplant research. And I hope that I can motivate other students at Google to enter the Maine State Science Fair and possibly the Intel Science Fair again next year.